I'm surrounded by invasive bamboo right now. Fuck that shit. But I think this is a great opportunity to talk to you guys about how to save the environment the easiest way and climate doom. Because I see a lot of climate doom and I'm surrounded by a lot of invasive bullshit. So this would be a great opportunity to be like, fuck! Plant invasive bamboo, bro. It spreads. The first bamboo was planted all the way over that fence. And now it's completely taken over a monoculture that no insects or wildlife benefit from. Unless something maybe sleeps on this shit. Other than that, this ain't food. No nibbles. All my native plants have little nibbles in them because they can actually eat them. Do you see any nibbles in this invasive bullshit? It's because of something I never hear permaculture people ever talk about on this app. It's because just because a plant benefits humans doesn't mean it can benefit ecology. But my native sunflower does have nibbles. Over millions of years, plants evolved to have natural chemicals to protect themselves, like a natural pesticides. Alkaloids and chemicals that plug them fat, bro. But native wildlife can't eat invasive. It's like they're lactose intolerant, but bullshit invasive intolerant. They can't eat this. But there's a reason I'm showing you all this invasive bullshit because that is turning into this. Look at all that color, bro. So instead of unlike the permaculture people you see on TikTok all the time, bro, we are removing the bamboo, not planting more because bamboo fucking sucks. But instead of that, we have all this biodiversity. First off, we have different pentiments, monkey flowers. You don't want just like say everyone wants a clover lawn or a poppy lawn. Fuck that. You want biodiversity, bro. Why would you replace a monoculture with another monoculture? Even if it's native, we're not, we're trying to ditch the monocultures, ditch that mindset, bro. Ditch the monoculture mindset. So you see, we have a monkey flower there for the hummingbirds, clarkia for the bees. None of this shit gets watered. Look how dry that soil is. If that was grass, it'd be dead because the grass I left is dead. That's how you know, bro. You get that shit going. Clarky is already going to seed. And wherever you see wood chips next year, that's all going to be more flowers. And this is how you save the environment, bro. This is, you don't get that climate doom going. You get that plant going. You plant that real shit. And when you plant this, you start ending that extinction crisis. Native plants and native insects need each other to survive. Without this, they're gone, bro. They can't eat that McDonald's. They're not like humans. They can't eat that bullshit all day. You got a chunky native bee on my native salvia. All native members in the mint family. What's up, bro? Don't headbutt me. I'm a homie. All native members of the mint family, if you want to help the bees, plant a native salvia. This is a Cleveland sage just looking gorgeous. The honeybees, look at the, not the honeybees, fuck honeybees. The native bees that they're fighting over right now, bro, they want this shit. It's because they know this is not McDonald's. This is that Whole Foods, bro. It's that real shit. Now right, let's go over the most common myth I hear about native plants lawns because I'm sick of hearing this shit. That they only look good in spring. Well, it's June right now, the end of spring. The poppies are still going, starting to go to seed. And the native California hedge nettle is just starting. This is the native hedge nettle, not the non-native one you see everywhere. So we got multiple plants right there just starting while the poppies are just starting to bloom, bro. It's all about blooming cycles. And you got the hibiscus lacio carpus occidentalis. This is an endangered hibiscus. It blooms in October when it's hot as fuck. And there's blooming times. These bloom during the day. My hooker's primrose blooms during night. At night, this shit is covered in like a hundred moss. That's how you get shit done, bro. Different times, different seasons, different plants. Fuck monocultures. It's about this real shit. The phacelia is just starting as well. This is a scorpion weed, a native California phacelia. You got a car, fuck cars, but we got blooms. That's what matters. 